Alright dudes, preparation is everything. I got the big pin in the water. We're going to do some serious baiting up. I mean, we're going to seriously bait up today. You got to prep right, all the right procedures, and then it's no big deal. But it's time to bait up. That's, that's good pre pod. That's finally like really, really filling in. It's kind of crazy because just yesterday, it was a little thin down here. I wasn't too fired up about nothing. You wake up today, and solid pre pod all the way down the beach. That's what I'm talking about. Down here, look at it out there, it's just slap full. So today we bait up. We bait up so we don't have to get bait when it's 100 degrees out. We have about a half a dozen trips coming up. Totally baiting up. It's advanced bait stuff. Some people may call it overbaiting, but you can never overbait. old days, I'd have muscled. I'd have just got five gallon buckets and just kept filling it up, filling it up. Today, I'm getting old, I'm getting smarter. I got my system, I'm trying not to ruin my elbow. I'm totally baiting up right now.
chunkier ones are definitely out there. some more. It's not exactly the bait I was looking for. The reports where it was a little bigger than that. Probably what was clouding everything up this morning during those reports. Because that's a whole different animal than them little, little pre pod. That's real sardine right there. That makes for every good bait. If you're going to do pre pod, you can get sardine, that's a major bonus.
see, after you get that much bait, you get a little flabbergasted and all, it's important that you reshoe. You can't be using the same shoe for two different tasks. You got one shoe to get in the water and run up the beach. Now you got to get a different shoe to get the bait and run them back down into the boat. That's real bait activity. Reshoe, right, John? talking about that's real guy stuff right there I am so overbaited right now you don't know overbaited is what I'm talking about sometimes you're underbaited sometimes you're no baited right now oh Captain Jeff overbaited that's what I'm talking about y'all don't know me I am totally overbaited right now sometimes you're underbaited sometimes you're no baited and sometimes you're overbaited. That's real guy stuff right now. I'm talking about real guy overbaitness. You see me? That's overbait. You see that? That's overbaitness. Overbaitness, yeah? baited like this. You see I only got a little bit of water in the buckets? That's because you got to get quick. You got to be fast with your bait. You can't be having full gallons, all five gallons filled up because you can't run with them like that. You got to be mobile. You got to be ready to go. amount of bait so far.
a lot of dead ones. I think we went about 50-50 on deaders. I might have to go back down yonder later, gub up on some of these sardines with the sabiki, because uh, well, they're going to make good bait. They're just going to make dead bait. That's what it's all about, dog. That's real guy right there getting totally overbeat. It's not for everybody. It's a lot of hard work. You gotta have the proper equipment. You gotta have technique down. You gotta be able to chunk the neck. But if you can do all that, you can put it together. If you got the right reports, you can get overbaited. There's a lot of worse things going on than being overbaited, you hear? I was able to come out here and get me a nice lunker. Came to the top secret spot. Top secret time of year. Closer. Top secret bait. 